the way the GS is ridden, the type of things it's ridden for, everything's mid-range like this here. Everything is mid-range. Unless you're my friend Chris. Then it's rev it and go. He's a pretty incredible street rider on anything. But now he rides a 1200 GS. And it's kind of mystifying how fast he goes on it on the street. Kind of a slick look to the pavement through here. corner easier slick on the inside here it's always wet it's not wet today but it's most of the year slick if this video makes you feel woozy you're not a writer and slick on the inside, don't want any of that. Look ahead, safer, straighter line. There's going to be, I'll fill it by the end of this. A little dirty, didn't want to slam it over there. Turns, transitions, excellent on the brake. I mean, I'm, I'm turning just totally natural while dragging the, the front brake to keep my speed controlled there to cover my butt if I've misconstrued what the corner is. Because if my finger's still on it, I can go harder on the brake if I have to. As opposed to jabbing at it, you know, if I stab at it, it's going to completely change the setup of the bike. It's going to transition all the way to one time. It's going to slide easier. If I'm already set like this, then I can grab it harder and it's going to hold much better. Stabbing brakes is not good. It doesn't give you traction. I actually got to do a video on that. Because what you actually do, if you're good, is you set the bike slightly early and then you brake much harder into the corner. If you just do it more of a stab and immediately go to braking as hard as you can, your traction level and the makeup of the bike is going to be totally different. You're going to transition everything at one time, putting more force on the tire, and you're going to have less traction. So it's not quite the place to demonstrate it, but I will if I can. Okay, set the bike back and brake really hard. I mean, the front, the back end was going to lift off there without the anti-lock coming on. If you stab, you just start just skidding much easier. Okay, set the bike, now then you can really get on the brake. It's amazing how much difference it makes. You can practice that. Actually, you need to practice that. Here, we'll do it. Set the brake. Now, any time, I can go really hard. If I go to the last second, grab it at the last second, not good results. So getting the timing right, understanding it, and feeling it, takes practice, but we should be practicing all our skills all the time. It's half the fun.
Okay, green means slippery on the inside there. Changes up here, I think, a little bit. Brakes have not faded. As you can see, I've been hitting them hard. shift all the time. You can use the power band better. It doesn't seem like it's in its character, this engine, to do that, but uh, it definitely is. It's one of the ways Chris goes so fast, he's not in the mid-range. Feels hot now, not the cool of the coast. GS is so great for you can do this kind of road all day long and enjoy every mile of it because you're sitting straight up, wide handlebars, not fighting anything. Excellent brakes, great feel the brakes, and quick hitting, which absolutely help in a place like this. Let's not forget suspension, rough road, no problem. I probably speed up when the road's rough. It's just more fun. Pretty much do it for this road and this ride. Until next time, have a great ride. Hi, I'm Perry King. I love riding my motorcycle, but I never drink while I'm doing it. Don't spoil a good ride by drinking. Riding from bar to bar isn't riding, that's drinking. Stay sharp, stay focused, and stay alive.